blog journey for about two years now since before I even considered um, having surgery and in that time I've got so many followers um, both in Britain in Sweden and in America and I've never really had any negative comments because I think people appreciate that I'm trying to be real honest um, I'm not sort of polished I'm not one of the video bloggers out there who's got the best equipment the most money to spend um, my opinions are my own and I'll let you into my home my life my family um, giving you real advice from my point of view and being quite honest open um, and friendly and sort of chatty um, so I've never come across like an internet troll before um, until the other day on a Facebook forum so hello I won't mention your name but I think hopefully if anybody's on there they'll know the person who made the really unhelpful comment um, obviously the other day I did a uh, a video blog without my makeup on because I normally do have makeup on my kitchen was a total mess I showed you inside my fridge um, and I was just telling you about excuses that people make um, you know I'll do it tomorrow I'll start on Monday I haven't got the right things in the cupboard things that um, in all honesty we all do because we're not all perfect especially not me um, and I had this comment and it was oh my god you really need to tidy your kitchen and who keeps vegetables and eggs in a fridge for for which we all know what that means. I was like, what the hell? What a complete idiot. And what a waste of time, waste of energy, and completely negative points. So thanks, Mrs. Troll, for that. Um, it just made me, it was made me upset for about two seconds because I was thinking, uh, excuse me, why does it matter to you, like, how I keep my kitchen? The whole point of this is for the people who I know most of you actually agree with me. Sometimes we're good, sometimes we're not, we're human. Um, it was quite funny, though, because I quickly had a look on her profile, and it's, it's, her, it's her laughing away with a, a glass of champagne, and then another one with her riding her horse, I think, off to the fox hunt or something. So I thought, well, you know what, I mean, I wouldn't talk to someone like that in real life, let alone um, on Facebook, and... You know, I doubt she's been through any of the kind of struggles I've had. Um, although most of people know that I, I was, you know, I've been up and down, haven't I? Um, I've had a lovely big, lovely house um, at one point in Sweden. Um, you know, and now I'm living in a tiny little council house, which is sort of depressing in itself. So I sometimes feel like I'm not bothering to tidy it because it's so bloody small. There's nowhere to put anything. Um, but I've bought up in a council flat anyway. I've lived in caravans. I've we went up and down, really. I mean, life's for living, isn't it? And, and I certainly don't judge people, apart from her. And that's only because she judged me. So this is just a bit of a rant and a bit of a thing about it. Like, haters, like, well, this, these sort of Facebook groups and Twitter groups and stuff are meant to be about us supporting each other through the journey. It's a hard thing to do. Um, especially hard when you don't have a lot of money, maybe a, a big social network of friends, maybe your family or your friends don't support you, so you're looking for people out there to sort of give you encouragement. Um, you're certainly not looking for judgments about your fridge or your house. Uh, the whole point of that video was the fact that I was trying to show, look, I'm normal, I'm struggling, the same as you, can you guys give me some tips? The other thing is, I think it was showing that, you know, when you're not taking your vitamins, when you're not eating properly, you get lethargic, that you get tired, the kids are running around driving you crazy, it's the summer holidays, it's more difficult to make those right choices, although you know, in theory, what you're meant to be doing. So, um, yeah, the other couple of days, and we've been away from home because my husband's been contestant on UK's Ninja Warrior, can't tell you the outcome, but it was a good laugh. Um, so we've been away, stopping at the service station. So uh, we chose to stop at Gloucester Services. Oh, my God, if you haven't been there, you've got to go. It's got a farm shop, organic food. Ooh, it's amazing. It's like a little hobbit house. It's like an eco-structure. It's great. Um, so, you know, I tried to make the right choices there, but I ended up with a croissant. Um, <laughs> um, yeah, and then when we got to the hotel, you know, there's the, there's the breakfast. But you can choose, you know, when there's a lot on offer, you can at least choose sort of like I chose scrambled eggs. I was thinking in my mind, protein, 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 because that's what's been drummed into me. Um, baked beans, scrambled eggs. Um, finished off with the croissants. <laughs> Sorry, it's the croissants that get me. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I, I, as I said, I'm going to start in September. It's going to be a September challenge. Um, trying to cut out the bread. I've already started taking no sugar in my coffee, so that's a start. You've got to start somewhere. I'm done my tidy and trying to get up earlier, get my energy going, get dressed, put my makeup on, things like that. I mean, you can see I look sort of more awake and happier today, and I think it's because I've tried to get my energy up um, and eaten a bit better this morning, having um, Kellogg's Protein Crunch is a new cereal. I'll have to show you the box. It's quite good. Maybe a bit high in sugar, but we're only having a tiny bit, aren't we? So anyway, so cheers for my in, my first internet troll encounter. Has uh, just made me bounce back stronger than ever, so cheers for that. Um, and hello and thank you again to all my lovely followers and, and supporters and on YouTube and Facebook and Twitter and everything. Um, a good friend of mine, Libby, 
Deval is going to go through her surgery soon. She started a little group and she's talking about it on Facebook. And it, it's that stage, it's very exciting, but it's very nerve wracking as well. So please be nice to each other, help each other out. Um, I'm really grateful for all your tips and advice. Keep it coming in. Um, oh, one person wanted to ask me to do a little makeup tutorial at one point, so I might do that. Well, it's not really to do with weight loss, but it does quite give you that confidence. Even if you're really big still, you can get yourself to look nice and selfies. So that's always nice. I don't know what I'm doing here today. I read it in a magazine yesterday. It says it's called The Hun. It's a bun on top. Personally, I'm now thinking it looks kind of ridiculous. <laughs> so anyway, thank you, guys. I don't worry. Don't let any haters put you down. Even if your family or friends don't support you, this is for you. It's so important. If you've got children, maybe you're doing it for them as well. But it's for you, and it's a new life, and, and you won't regret it. It's a journey, and we're all on it together. Feel the love. <laughs> Got to find the off button there.